This video tutorial covers the process of creating a Google site, uh, enabling it for mobile content, and attaching it to analytics in AdSense, and providing some basic initial content for your user. And notice to start the exercise, I'm signed into my Google Sites account uh, and also into Google Analytics with my same Google ID. We're going to start from the Google Sites page with the Create button. Provide a name for the site, which is going to be KY Treasures. I'm going to look in the gallery for more templates. Uh, I can search for a template if I would like, and in this case, I'm going to look for the template provided by the Kentucky Small Business Development Center. So KSBDC uh, and search, and you say I have a choice of those. I'm going to take this one. You could also do that with the NKT 675 uh, template that's available for students at North State University uh, and get a very similar template. Uh, I'm now going to prove to Google that I'm a real person. Uh, and now the site is created. Uh, and notice that I have a good deal of content already available to me in the site. Uh, for the initial development, all I have to do is provide information on the home page uh, and the About Us page. Uh, to get started on developing the site, but notice as I go through this template that I already have some content here, but I also have a good deal of instructional material on how I can integrate different types of Google Apps and Google Docs. Uh, I have also a button called a chiclet that allows users who find interesting content on this site to share it on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and in their blogs. Uh, and uh, a variety of different types of, of information on how I can develop additional resources for the site. This is how I would develop the web resources page. I also have the capability of developing an online catalog using the Google Checkout system. And here are examples of the types of, of products that I might sell down the road. Okay, now the addition of content to the home page and about us page uh, is as simple as pressing the edit button uh, and then changing the text that I might want to. to adjust in the site. Uh, I'm going to change the word develop to create and hit save and you can see that those changes are already built in. Now to add th this site to the Google Analytics system and also to the AdSense system, uh, I'm using a slightly different portion of the system. So I click the more button and I'm going to manage the site. Uh, I can now change the name if I wish to have it show up. So now if I want to expand that to Kentucky Treasures, I can do that. Uh, provide a description. This is part of the content that will be used as search engines to search this site and try to index it. So it's important that I, that I do that well here. Uh, we're going to come back and do Google Analytics in just a second. Uh, but I, we will need to make sure here that we have already uh, checked this button to automatically adjust the content for mobile phones so that mobile uh, users can see it. Uh, we do want to do Google Analytics for the site. Uh, notice that Webmaster Tools is already enabled uh, because it is a Google site. Uh, and so now uh, all I need to do is, pro is, is get that Google Analytics code. Uh, now you can see, I'm going to save this for right now so we can go back to the site. And here is the URL uh, for which I need to develop analytics content. So let's move over to Google Analytics. This is the information from an earlier uh, site that I have registered in the system. Uh, and these are different profiles. So I'm going to create a different profile for this site so I can gather information on it. And I'm going to call it KY Treasures. Uh, I put the URL of the site that I want to save here. And the name of the property. Now I can also, if I have them ready, uh, use the social settings button to enter the Facebook profile that, that I maintain in Facebook or Twitter or other social media content so that we can start to track content that comes from or track visitors 
the temple no sites to our uh, site. Now, once I've done this, this creates a tracking code, and this is the code that I use to copy, paste it back into the Google Site system. And now we're ready to go. So I hit save at this point. And if I return to the site, those changes are already made. I can also monetize the site again by using the more button and signing up for AdSense. Now you may have to go through a lengthy procedure if you haven't done this, but because I have already signed up for AdSense and have an account, uh, I show that this has been enabled and I can, uh, if, you, if you haven't done that, you would have the opportunity to enable this account and now it's ready to go for monetization and it's going to show up in the sidebar. So, back to the, to, the, to the page itself. We now have the basic page ready. Uh, we have it uh, hooked up with Google Analytics. We have some core content. We have the ability for users to share with their uh, social media uh, resources. Uh, and we have enabled AdSense for the account. Uh, and so those changes will, will show up as we, uh, as we work with the site.